Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're talking Micron Buying Guide. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody that's following along, asking questions, subscribing, turning on those notifications, signing up to our Patreon page. We really appreciate it, so thank you very much. Today's video, we're talking about the Micron and all the sensors you can buy for it for the Micron 5 for your go-kart racing. So let's get to it. So when buying your Micron 5, it is a pretty modular system. You've got to buy the head unit to start with, obviously, but then there's a whole myriad of sensors. Now, some guys get stuck, oh geez, there's what, what sensors do I need? And the truth is you don't need any of them. They're all just accessories that can help. Now, if you're a total beginner, I would start with the head unit only and maybe a water or cylinder head temperature sensor. And then we can build on it from there. Now the first sensor some guys like to use is the exhaust gas temperature sensor. Now that's a great sensor and it works for checking out some of your spark plug heat ranges and gear ratios because they will affect your EGTs. A lot of guys like to see a certain number at the end of the main straight, you know, 600, 610, 100, 100 degree decline, so 510. Other guys are talking 200. So for me, I've always found EGT a little vague. My preference for tuning the engines is your lambda sensor. Now that sensor is, is great. You can get a wide band lambda sensor and it plugs in, gives your micron the power as well. It has a, a lead to a battery. So as you can see here, we've got the LCU lambda replacement sensor. Now this is a wide band Bosch style oxygen sensor, it plugs into the exhaust and measures how much residual oxygen is in the exhaust gas and then the computers take care of the rest and it tells you how close or far off your tuning is from optimal, optimal performance. Now, optimal performance is going to be different from you to me, to Mike, to Bob. Everyone's best lap, best tuning is specific to their driving style, gear ratio, oil mixture, engine class. So I can't tell you like a specific number but normally uh, 1.00 lambda is the leanest you want it to run down the main straight and you can be around the 94 to 96 off the sort of hairpin corners and that's 0.94 to 0.96 on your lambda. Now their general rules obviously there's more specific stuff for different classes but this is the best tool I know for tuning two-stroke engines actually any engine that I tune whether it's a two-stroke or you know, a Datsun racing engine. The Lambda sensor I was talking about comes as a kit and you buy the kit and then the sensors uh, fail, not regularly, but they will be consumed like your tires wear out. So do the sensors. They're running with um, a lot of oil and traditionally the oxygen sensors are not designed around like the oily system of the two stroke racing engine. They're more, more designed for say, say for the four strokes where it has a lot more cleaner exhaust gas. So that the oil gets on the sensors can make them fail from time to time, plus the vibrations and stuff from go-karting. So you will have to buy the sensors sometimes separately. But yeah, to get started with the, the, your data from your um, Lambda sensor, you need to buy the LCU one as a kit. So another great tool that you can get, now this is very budget um, sensitive, is the tire temperature sensor kit. Now this kit here can monitor your tire temperatures live as you're driving around the track and collate all that data and relay it back to your micron head unit and then you can download it to your computer. Now this is a great tool for chassis tuning and um, obviously getting the optimum out of your say your front tires because they overheat and so it's sort of the um, working side back left tire for you got predominantly right handers. So you can sort of see with your axle changes and your camber changes what sort of effect it's having to your surface temperature of your tires. Another great tool is the brake and throttle position sensors. Now these bolt to the throttle and brake pedal and it's a magnetic resistance sort of sensor and the magnets pick up on their proximity to each other and they read like, I guess, a zero to five volts. And then the data acquisition micron head unit collates all the data and gives you a reading of when your brakes were on or off and how much percentage and whereabouts on the track. So if you put two drivers and they both have this, you can sort of, and you're losing three tenths on a certain hairpin corner, you might be braking too late against the pro driver or too early, and you can really see your braking markers, whether you're going in too deep or not deep enough. 
And that's a great tool. And also where people are picking up the throttle. Sometimes you might be picking it up too early or too late for the ultimate lap time. So there you have it. That's the Micron 5 and all the sensors that I would use. The head unit is excellent. We've covered that one before. The how to read the data, we've covered that. There's a link in the description below for that one as well. Now these are the sensors I'll choose to use if possible in order. First is the LCU1 kit, so save up and get that. Next is the uh, brake and throttle position sensor. Third would be the tire temperature sensors if you can afford it. And the last thing I would buy if I needed to would be the exhaust gas temperature. Thanks to everyone that's subscribed already. If you do like this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Power Public YouTube channel. Also turn on those pesky notification. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Follow along on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic. Or go to our website, www.powerpublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt or a brand new Micron 5. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.